Another common type of device configuration that you might be working with are plug and play devices. Now a plug and play device basically defines a type of peripheral that you can plug into the system and possibly reboot or automatically recognize the device and have it be configured for you without having to make any changes. Most devices in today's environment are plug and play devices. Most of the time we're going to find the plug and play device in the BIOS, gather the information that we need, pass it to the kernel, and allow the ISA PNP to determine how to configure the device. Basically it's going to check the configuration file that's used by the ISA PNP tool and configure our device for us. So anytime you want to add capabilities of plug and play for certain devices, make sure that that information is available to the kernel and is available to the ISA PNP tool through its associated configuration file. Now we can also have some explicit configuration options such as the sound config program for one example. Now one of the things you want to be really careful about when utilizing plug and play is that the Linux operating system may not always know how best to handle the resources it's going to assign to that particular device. So understanding the concepts of IRQs and other addresses that are used by the system will allow you to efficiently troubleshoot. In the example that we've described here, which is a very common thing to happen, we plug a sound card into the system, it's automatically configured through plug and play, but it's assigned an IRQ that conflicts with an existing peripheral device, such as a parallel port. So all we have to do is disable one of the two devices, probably the parallel port, or possibly go in and manually change the assignment of the interrupt request. So in summary, having the ability to work with the hardware of the system is extremely valuable, especially because you might need to gather information about your hardware or most likely need to know where the hardware is going to be loaded so that you can reference it from within the operating system. It also helps significantly when troubleshooting hardware configuration issues.